characters date way back. I like to say they, they date from the dawn of the disco era because my brother and I were kids and we'd make our own comics on typing paper. And he would leave his unfinished comics laying around the house and he was the one that actually first did characters called Sam and Max. And they were a dog and rabbit detective. But their personalities were really different. He'd leave his unfinished comics laying around in the family room and I'd pick them up and I'd kind of secretly finish them in a parody of his style. So they started as a parody of, of the comics of, a, of an eight-year-old. And that's how they started forgetting each other's names. And I would draw their thumb on the wrong side of the hand on purpose. And the perspective never made sense. So it was just a, a way of irritating my brother, which was the dawn of these characters. It was 1978. They wrote me this little document that said, I don't care about these characters. You can draw them from now on. And uh, he signed it, and I signed it, and our little scrawl for our kids. Uh, uh, signatures and uh, so I've still got that weird little piece of paper which is I'm sure not legally binding but what the hell. Or I like for me the first time I saw the new version of Sam and Max's car the DeSoto driving down the street I was so pleased because um, I had talked to Dave Bogan the art director about redesigning the car and I had found a picture of a DeSoto online in 1960 and I had drawn on top of it on a, on a Wacom tablet and, and done a new kind of a rat rod design for it and sent it to him. And when I saw the, the model of the car they built, I was so pleased and getting to see it for the first time driving down Sam and Max's street was really exciting for me. And my next favorite episode is Abe Lincoln Must Die because it's just, for me, the absurdity of getting to hunt Abe Lincoln's statue from the Lincoln Memorial is, is about as Sam and Max as you can get. The results from the emergency election are coming in, and it appears that former sitcom star Max has been elected President of the United States. In an unprecedented show of bipartisan solidarity, all of the country's political parties have desperately asked for a recount. You've got to be me, you idiot! The level of absurdity that you want to see in a Sam and Max episode. Democracy? I will make you all my hypnotic slaves! <laughs> Great to get a chance to work with Telltale on, uh, on the Sam and Max series.